Today's Star Citizen video is all about how to escape prison in the most efficient and fastest way possible. As a griefer, a pad rammer, a ganker, a killer, I'm always being sent to prison all the time. And maybe you have the same issue where you just want to get out as fast as possible without having to actually log out in real life or do meaningless tasks. Alright, so let me, let me tell you what this video is going to be. It's going to be a cheat sheet on how to navigate the mines as fast as possible to be able to do the missions as quickly and efficiently as possible. Alright, so for those that don't know, the fastest way out of prison is you open your Moby Glass and you go to the Contracts Manager and you take these little missions called Inmate Maintenance Opportunity. What that's going to do is at the top of your screen, you see where it says Repair O2 Kiosk in Route 3 Depth 12. By doing that mission, I will have knocked off almost three hours of jail time and it only takes minutes to, to do. So, the other ways out of prison is to escape through the air ducts, which does not clear your crime stat, making you a criminal. You'll be sent right back as soon as you die. It takes way too long to break out, and you need someone to pick you up. Absolutely pointless. The other way is to mine rocks, which is not worth the time or the hassle or the effort. So, before I get to the cheat sheet, I'm going to show you now how, how do you get to this Repair O2 Kiosk mission, okay? So, you go through the work mines, you're going to take a left here, just follow the arrows, and that is going to put you in the work mines themselves. You'll know you're going the right way because the sign will say work mines. Go ahead and open the door, and technically you are in the work mines. Now, when you're in this, uh, this area, it's kind of a circle, okay? You can go right or left. If you go right, you'll start at uh, area 3. So, you can see the sign here. This is Route 3. So, going down there, that's Route 3. If you continue this way... You have Route 2, and then Route 1. So, uh, the mission wants us to go to Route 3, okay? And I'm going to show you just some really quick navigation tips before I get into the cheat sheet, okay? So, this is Route 3. And once we go this way, you'll notice anytime you're going the wrong way, you'll see these red X's. If you see this, that means it's a dead end every single time. Uh, you can hold F and then scroll your mouse wheel to zoom in to be able to see further ahead. Alright, so... We are now in the work mines, and just real quick, let me show you how the navigation works. What you're looking for is signs overhead that show you going to the next depth level, alright? You start at depth 1, and then as you continue through the mines, you'll go to depth 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth, right? Okay, so here we are. We're in a big circular, like, little area. Now, we can go left or right, and this is where the cheat sheet's going to come in later in the video that shows you exactly where to go so you don't waste your time in each level and each depth. Okay, so you're going to walk around the room, and you're going to look for just the, the way forward. As you can see here, it's just a wall. There's nothing there. So we're going to keep going just around the, the perimeter of the wall until you see this. When you see this sign here, that is the next depth level. So that means you are going the correct direction. Now, if for whatever reason you get turned around, like you lose your sense of direction and you turn around, you'll notice that you'll see an exit sign instead. This means that you're going back towards the spawn area. So if you see this, you're going the wrong way, just turn your butt around and continue uh, down the path forward, okay? So with that said, I am now going to route and map the entire area, every single cave, every single route, and then present it to you guys. So there we go, there's depth two, like I said, and then you just run around this room until you find depth three. It's right there immediately. So there's no reason to go anywhere else. If you're trying to get to depth 12 and route three, just follow the sign here and you're good to go. So with that said, let me go ahead and map this stuff out for you guys. Now, let me explain how this is going to work just real quick before I get into the actual full route, okay? So here we are at Route 1. As soon as you enter the big circular room, as you can see on the screen, to get to Route 2, you're going to take a right. So, here we are. We're taking a right. And we're going to the right. And there it is. There's Route 2. So I just saved you a bunch of time. Now I'm going to complete the entire route for you guys. Now, sometimes the directions can get a little weird, so let me explain. So, here we are on uh, number three, and we need to get to number four. So, to do that, we're going to go straight and then right, or two o'clock. So, if I just go right and follow the wall, I'm going to hit a dead-end cave here. So, as you can see, going just going to the right, we just hit dead-end caves, dead-end caves, there's another dead-end cave. But, if I, were to work, if I were to walk straight and then take a right, about, to, like, imagine the face of a clock. If I just ran to 2 o'clock of this room, which is right about this way, 
uh, and then there it is. There is number four. So that's how to navigate using the clock function, for those that don't know. Here is the complete route one, just for you. All right, there we go, up to level 15. Once you hit level 15, that's it. You have to start crawling under rocks and going into unexplored territory, which, I mean, it's not really unexplored, but as far as oxygen missions go, that's as far as it gets. And the oxygen on 15 is to the leftmost side in a dead end. It's not in a hallway. But as far as routes go, Route 1 is very straightforward, very quick to run. If you get missions for Route 1, they will be able to be completed fairly quickly. All right, on to Route 2. Before I move on to Route 2, I want to speedrun Route 1 now by using my handy dandy map here and see how fast or how long it takes to get to level 15 and touch the oxygen tank. Let's go. All right, with just a few mess ups, I was able to get to the f level 15 oxygen tank in six minutes and about 51 seconds. And that is not the fastest time. That's not the perfect route. But here I am, and uh, I was able to do it without stopping for oxygen, though I was pretty low on oxygen when I got here. So just a heads up, it is possible. And what that does is that's going to take off four hours, 21 minutes of jail time plus the seven minutes it took to get here so it's about four hours and 30 minutes knocking off your sentence okay so what that means is if you have a 24 hour sentence uh you can basically knock it out in what under 30 minutes essentially base sort of kind of you get the idea all right route two is complete once you reach number 12 floor 12 that is it it does not go up to 15 like the first route and the oxygen tank is, of course, you go straight and then left, which is 9 o'clock. And the oxygen tank is right there on the right side. There you go. I don't remember how much time this one frees up, and I'm not going to speed run it. Um, it is faster than Route 1, though, so there you go. All right, Route 3 is complete. Uh, the oxygen is on the leftmost side. It's, uh, it's the most confusing and kind of claustrophobic route Route 3 is. I would say Route 3 is possibly also the longest due to just the big areas that you run through and just how confusing it really is. Route 3, definitely the hardest route, but it's also only uh, 12 instead of 15, so if you get a mission to run to 12, I don't think it's faster than Route 1, honestly, because Route 1 is way smoother and smaller. Route 2 is definitely the fastest. If you get oxygen missions in Route 2, those are going to be the quickest ones to complete. With that said, guys, anytime you get crime stats, anytime you get sent to prison, just pull this video up, save it to your favorites, put it in your bookmarks, save it to your watch later, whatever. Or if you're smart, take a screenshot of, uh, of the routes, wh whatever you prefer, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm going to be using this video in the future for myself to get out of prison much, much faster because that's all I do in this game anymore. I just run up and start killing players. I'm pretty much bored with the rest of the entire game. There's really not much to do until they add things. With that said, I'm Soul Benji. Come on back tomorrow because I got videos every single day on this channel. Maybe not videos every day of Star Citizen. There's really not a lot going on for solo players. Uh, but if this helped you out, make sure you subscribe. It really helps me out. Uh, these videos don't make me any money. I make pennies off these videos. So um, if you want to donate, click the thanks button. If this really helped you out, click that thanks button down below and uh, leave a monetary donation. It shows up in the comments. If you donate a large amount, it'll change the entire color of the comments box, okay? Um, if I get a lot of views and support on these kinds of videos, I'll definitely make more, but as of right now, I don't really have a large Star Citizen following or viewership, so I tend to make these videos sparingly anyway. Uh, also, if you want to become a channel member, uh, it's 5 bucks a month. Uh, you can click the Join button below for that. It's like being subscribed on Twitch, but it's on YouTube. You get access to private, more personal videos. I don't really have any useful videos for Star Citizen, so if you, it's just if you want to help me out. But who knows, maybe in the future I might have some cool stuff that I don't want to share with the public on there. Anyway, with that said, videos every single day on this channel. Come on back tomorrow for another video. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it out. Take care, guys.